you never know what's gonna happen in your life. You never know what adversity you might face. And you have a choice. You can either wallow in it or you can take the optimistic glass half full approach to something. You can always find joy in anything in any life situation. I love to travel the world. I love to play golf. I uh, was very active. I was having difficulties getting up out of a chair. I was super, super tired. Couldn't lift my arms up to wash my hair. I ended up down at Johns Hopkins and I was diagnosed with myositis. It essentially is an autoimmune disease where your body pretty much attacks its own muscles. So my world changed. Knitting for me has been a lifeline, no pun intended, because it gives me something to do. I use it as physical therapy. There's a lot of healing that takes place with knitting. It helps you focus on the immediate. You're focusing on the ne what's the next stitch. You're focusing on the pattern. You're not worried about something that happened in the past or into the future. A friend of mine, Sparky from the Knit Shop, had posted on her Facebook page that she was attending Knit Stars. I'm like, what's that? She's like. I don't know, I saw it, um, there was a video, it's going to be an online knit summit. I'm like, well this is, for me it was perfect because I couldn't really travel, I couldn't go places, I would get too tired. So I thought, okay, well what the heck, let me, let me see what this is all about. And so I signed up for it. And Knit Stars allowed me to have a venue to be able to still gather information without having to leave my home because I don't, honestly, I don't leave my home a lot. <laughs> when you are on some of the medications that I'm on, you get what's called brain fog. You might lose track of your thought or you need to watch something a few times, right? Each little lesson had its own little segment and so you can go back and re-watch it and learn at your own pace. So that to me is the best part because you have it for life. And the fact that you can retake a class over and over and over and over again till you get proficient at it, especially something that's a new technique, I think that's one of the best parts of it, tell you the truth. The artistic process, it, it fills your soul and it makes you complete. So there's something magic that, that's created when you're knitting. And so Knit Stars has played a role in that. If I had never found Knit Stars, I think I wouldn't be probably as happy. I wouldn't have found that community. And for me right now, I was used to being out and about and seeing people all the time. I have a wanderlust. I used to love to travel when before I got sick. It lets me kind of do that. It's as if through my computer online, I've, I have a group of friends that we have something in common with and I'm learning from. So I've expanded my abilities just by being able to meet the people through Knit Stars. That's why I'm excited for this year because there's people that I didn't know about for this year that I'm looking forward to meeting and have, walking them into my living room through my computer. I'm walking them into my home as we're welcomed into their home.